What is the recommended substance to utilize on plate heat exchangers when employing them in conjunction with steam? Let's say that the problem with inspectable plate heat exchangers does not arise in the sense that we always have a heat exchanger that can be maintained and repaired in case of pulsating pressures, steam blows, presence of condensation that damages the gaskets. In these cases, it is enough to open the exchanger, replace the gaskets, close it, perform a pressure test, and the exchanger is ready to restart. But when we are dealing with brazed plate heat exchangers which cannot be repaired once they are broken, the problem becomes a bit more delicate. What is the difficulty in using plate heat exchangers with steam? The problem arises when there is insufficient condensate drainage, namely when the condensate stagnates inside the heat exchanger and is not properly drained from it. What occurs in this situation? When there is an influx of new steam in the presence of stagnant condensation, the condensation quickly evaporates, resulting in audible noises and dry cracks in the heat exchanger. It's the instant evaporation of the condensate undergoing high pressure surges inside the heat exchanger, which can damage it over time. What needs to be done? Definitely install a condensate drain that works well, ensure that the condensate drain line has no back pressure and can be completely drained, and install a vacuum breaker valve downstream of the steam control valve that essentially functions as a check valve in reverse, meaning that when the steam flow ends, the vacuum breaker valve opens, allowing air to enter and completely drain the heat exchanger, causing the water and condensate to exit through the condensate drain. Are you interested in this topic? It is a good solution for efficient condensate management.